Hi, how are you? <laughs> so let's look at five things I wish I knew before using Linux. So the first thing on the list is lack of popular software. This is changing slowly and has been changing, but it's still a bit off yet. One example I have is an issue I actually came across recently. I had to write a report and normally I use Microsoft Office Word because it allows for the creation of nice professional documents, enabling easy references and things like that. So yeah, uh, because Microsoft Office isn't readily available on Linux, there was a few extra steps I had to do to complete that report. If you're a design engineer who uses AutoCAD, then you're stuck somewhat with what you can use. There are also games like Fortnite which relies on anti-cheat software which won't run on Linux at the moment. These are just a few apps. This is slowly getting better but as of yet it's still an issue worth noting. The next thing on the list is too much choice. This is something which I still struggle with. Not like an addiction. Jesus that sounds fucking morbid. This is something I struggle with on a daily basis getting my fix from the next distro yeah anyway i see some main youtubers posting videos about this and i genuinely don't think it's for the views you'll end up seeing like popular youtubers saying i finally find my perfect distro and there's probably about 10 different videos for this it's literally like walking into a toy shop but all the toys are free and you can take them all home. That's great at the start, but it eventually dulls the blade, so to speak. Not knowing which distro to go to or to use on a regular basis is a bit of a problem. And it's a problem that the likes of me has where it's just like, I need and want everything if it's free. If you're just starting out, I would just stick with Pop! OS. It's probably the most beginner friendly, stable and popular distribution at the moment. But yeah, too much choice is an issue. The learning curve. This isn't just a Linux thing, this is more of a life thing. Generally when you're learning something new, there is a learning curve. The learning curve for Linux can be variable depending on which distro you choose. For example, don't use Arch if you're just starting out because reasons. Stick with one of the main distributions based on the likes of Debian or Ubuntu to start with. It takes a long time to become familiar with a Linux operating system and the only way is just to stick with it and keep using it. The learning curve is steep, stuff will break and you won't know why and the only real method of fixing it is either knowledge or googling see if anyone else has fixed it and then remembering. So uh, yeah the learning curve is something you need to keep an eye out for. Accessibility. So because of the fact that Linux is a free open source software and because most of its software is open source, it's freely accessible to anyone. Not only the accessibility of the OS it's, or software itself, that's just sort of the tip of the iceberg, but once it's installed you can basically install what you want and break everything. It's a tinkerer's playground if you have that kind of mentality. There's a guy I watch, Engineer Man, I think his YouTube channel is called, and he basically shows you how to live load a kernel patch so that if you go and open a certain folder on the operating system, it'll just rickroll you. So there's things like that you can do and uh, you don't really get that with Windows and you certainly don't get it with Mac OS. And then the last thing on the list is it's okay to be an idiot. This is the last point and is probably the main point about using Linux. If you're a newbie or a hardcore expert who has been using it for years, there's always something new to learn. And the best way to do that is by allowing yourself the freedom to be an, be an idiot and make mistakes. I still know basically fuck all about Linux and constantly I'm hit by imposter syndrome when I make a video about it. So yeah, the best way to learn is to try stuff and break shit. And I suppose the good thing about Linux is because it's free, the only cost is time and if you're willing to forego yeah, the only real cost is time, I suppose. As long as you have a laptop or a computer of some sort, the only real cost is time. So yeah, it's worth, uh, it's, it's definitely worth having a go. Don't be afraid to be an idiot. It's okay. So to conclude, those are five things I wish I knew before starting to use Linux. Some of this you've probably heard already. That's fine. Let me know what you wish you knew before starting Linux with a comment below. And uh, yeah, that's me. All right, bye.